Hello and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we start, I must say our customary blessings and prayers. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves <clears throat> with the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people Israel. May we, in our offspring, in the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake, for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord keep, make his presence enlighten you and may he be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. B'shem Yeshua. Amen. Our readings for today is, well, I don't know how to pronounce it in Hebrew, but it's called Listen. The Torah portion for today is Deuteronomy 31, 30 through 32, 52. Prophets, 2 Samuel 22, 1 through 51. Our British Hadesha, John 21, 1 through 25. Romans 10, 14 through 11, 12. In twelve fourteen through twenty one. Deuteronomy thirty one thirty thirty two through fifty thirty two fifty two. Then Moses spoke the words of this song until they were finished in the ears of all the assembly. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. May my teachings drop as the rain, may this, my speech distill as the dew, like gentle rain upon a tender grass, and like showers upon a herb. For I proclaim the name of Yahweh, ascribe greatness to our Elohim. The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice. A Elohim of faithfulness and without in iniquity. Just and upright is he. They have dealt corruptly with him, and they are no longer his children because they are blemished. They are a crooked and twisted generation. Does thus, do you thus repay Yahweh, you foolish and senseless people? Is he, is not he your father, who created you, who made you and established you? Remember the days of the old. Consider the years of many generations, and ask your father, and he will show you. Your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when He divided mankind, He fixed the borders of the peoples according to the number of the sons of Elohim. But Yahuwah's portion is His people. Jacob is allotted heritage. He found him in a desert land, and in the howling waste of wilderness, He encircled him and He cared for him. He kept him as the apple of His eye, like an eagle that stirs up its nest that flutters over its young, spreading out its wings, catching them, bearing them on its pinions. Yahweh alone guided him. No foreign god was made with him. He, was made, he made him ride on the high places of the land, and he ate the produce of the field. And he suckled him with honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock, curds from the herd, and milk from the flock, with fats of lambs. Rams of Bashan and goats, with that, with the very finest of wheat, and you drank foaming wine made from the blood of the grape. But but Jeshurun grew fat and wicked, and grew, you grew fat, stout and sleek, and you forsook, forsook, Elohim who made him, and scoffed at the rock of his salvation. They stirred him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations they provoked him to anger. They sacrificed to demons that were no gods, to gods that they had never known, to new gods that have come recently, whom your fathers had never dreaded. You were unmindful of the rock that bore you. You 
And you forgot the Elohim who gave birth to you. Yahweh saw it and, sp and spurned them because of the propagation of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see that their end will be, for they are a perverse generation, children of is whom, in whom is no faithfulness. They have made me jealous with what is no God. They have provoked me to anger with their idols, so I will make them jealous. With those who are no people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in my anger. And it burns to the deaths of Sheol. Devours the earth in its increase. And sets on fire the foundations of the mountains. And I will heap disasters upon them. I will spend my arrows on them. And they shall be wasted with hunger. And devoured by plague and poisonous pestilence. I will send the teeth of beasts against them. With the venom of things that crawl in the dust, outdoors the sword shall breathe, and indoors terror. For a young man and woman alike, the nursing child with the man of gray hairs. I would have said, I will cut them to pieces, I will wipe them from the human memory. Had I not feared provocation by the enemy, lest their adversaries should be misunder misunderstand. Lest they should say, our hand is triumphant. It was not Yahweh who did all this. For they are a nation void of counselor, counsel. And there is no understanding in them. If they were wise, they would understand this. They would discern the latter end. How, how could one have chased a thousand? And two have put ten thousand to flight. Unless their rock had sold them. And Yahweh had given, up, given them up. For the rock is not as our rock. Our enemies are, are by themselves. For their vine comes from the vine of Saddam and from the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of poison. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of serpents. And the cruel venom of asps, Is not this laid up in store with me, sealed up in my treasuries? Vengeance is mine, and rec recompense, for the time when their foot s shall slip, for the day that their calamity is at hand and their doom comes swiftly. For Yahweh will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants, when he sees that their power is gone, and there is none remaining bond or free. Then he will say, Where are their gods? The rock in which they took refuge. Who ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you. Let them be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God beside me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and swear as I live forever. If I sharpen my flashing sword... And my hand takes hold on judgment. I will take vengeance on my adversaries. And will repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood. And my sword shall devour flesh. With the blood of the slain and the captives. From the long haired heads of the enemy. Rejoice with him all heavens. Bow down to him all gods. For he avenges the blood of his children. And takes vengeance on his adversaries. He repays those who hate him and cleanses his people's land. Moses came and recited all the words of this song in the hearing of the people. He said, Joshua, son of Nun. And when Moses had finished speaking all the words to all of Israel, he said to them, Take to heart all the words by which I am warning you today, that you may command them to your children, that they may be careful to do all these words out of this law. For it is no empty word for you, but your very life. And by this word you shall live long in the land that you are going over the Jordan to possess. That very day Yahweh spoke to Moses, Go up this mountain, go up this mountain of, of the Abarim, Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, opposite Jericho. And view the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the people of Israel for possession, and die on the mountain with 
which you go up. And be gathered to your people, as Aaron your father died in Mount Ahor, and gathered to his people. Because you broke faith with me in the midst of the people of Israel in the waters of Mer Meribah Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin, and because you did not treat me as holy in the midst of the people of Israel. For you, sh for you shall see the land before you, but shall not go there, into the land that I am giving to the people of Israel. Second Samuel twenty two one through fifty one. And David spoke to Yahweh the words of this song on that day, on the day when Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my Elohim, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. I call upon Yahweh who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. For the waves of death encompass me, the torrents of destruction assailed me, the cords of Sheol entangled me, the, snail, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called upon Yahuwah, and to my Elohim I called. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry came to his ears. Then the earth reeled and rocked, and the foundations of the heavens tumbled and quaked, because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils, and devouring fire from his mouth. Glowing coals flamed forth from him. He bowed the heavens and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew. He was seen on the wings of the wind. He made darkness surround him his canopy. Thick clouds, a gathering of water. Out of the brightness before him, coals of fire flamed forth. Yahweh thundered from heaven. And the Most High uttered this voice, uttered his voice. And he sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and routed them. Then the channels of the sea were seen, the foundations of the world were laid bare at the rebuke of Yahuwah, and the blast of his breath of his nostrils. He sent from on high, he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He rescued me from the strong enemy, from those who hated me. For they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but Yahweh was my support. He brought me out into the into a broad place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Yahweh dealt with me because according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, he rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of Yahweh, and have not wickedly departed from my Elohim. For all his rules were before me, and from all from his statutes I did not turn aside. I was blameless before him, and I kept myself from guilt. And Yahweh has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to my clean, cleanness in his sight. With a merciful you show yourself merciful. With a blameless man you show yourself blameless. With a purified you deal purely. With a crooked you make yourself seem torturous. You save a humble people, but your eyes are on the haughty to bring them down. For you are a lamp, O Yahweh. And my Elohim lightens my darkness. For you, for by you I can run against a troop. And by my Elohim I can leap over a wall. This Elohim. His way is perfect. The word of Yahuwah proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. For who is Elohim but Yahuwah? And who is a rock except for Elohim? This Elohim is my strong refuge. And has made my way blameless. He has made my feet like the feet of a deer. And set me secure on the heights. He trains my hands for war. So that my army can bend a bow of bronze. You have given me a shield of your salvation. And your gentleness made me great. And you gave a wide place for, for my steps under me. And my feet did not slip. I pursued my enemies and destroyed them, and did not turn back until they were consumed. I consumed them. I thrust them through so that they did not rise. They fell under my feet. For you equipped me with the strength for the battle. You made those who rise against me sink under me. You made my enemies turn their backs to me, those who hated me, and I destroyed them. They looked, but there was no one to save. 
They cried to Yahweh, but he did not answer them. I beat them fine as the dust of the earth. I crushed them and stamped them down like the mirror of the streets. You delivered me from strife with my people. You kept me from the head of the nations. People whom I did not know served me. Kept me as the head of my nation. Foreigners came cr cr cringing to me. As soon as they heard of me, they obeyed me. Foreigners lost heart and came trembling out of their fortresses. Yahweh lives, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be my Elohim, the rock of my salvation. The Elohim who gave me vengeance and brought down peoples unto me. Who brought me out from my enemies, you exalted me above those who rose against me. You delivered me from the men of violence. For this I will praise you, O Yahweh, among the nations, and sing praise to your name. Great salvation he brings to his king, and ensures steadfast love to his anointed, to David and his offspring forever. John 21, 1-25 After this, Yahshua... Yeshua revealed himself to the disciples of the Sea of Tiberias. And he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, the two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Yeshua stood on the shore. Yet the disciples did not know that it was Yeshua. Yeshua said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it. And now they were, never, they were not able to haul it in, because the quantity of fish that the disciples whom Yeshua loved, therefore said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard what, that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment. For he stripped it for work and threw himself into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, dragging their net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire in place, with fish laid out on it, and bread. Yeshua said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Yeshua said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Yeshua came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Yeshua was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Yeshua said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to them, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said to them, Feed my lambs. And he said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to them, Yes. said to him, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said to them, Tend my sheep. And he said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter said, Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Yeshua said to them, Feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you are young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted to. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and another will dress you and carry you where you want to go. Then he said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify Elohim. After that, saying this, he said to him, Follow me. Peter turned and saw the disciple from Yeshua, whom the Yeshua loved following them. The one who also had leaned against him during the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Yeshua, Lord, what about this man? Yeshua said to them, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is it to you? You will follow me. So the saying spread among the brothers. That this disciple is not to die yet. Yeshua did not say to him that he was not to die. But if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is it to you? This is a disciple who is bearing witness about these things and whom has written these things. We know that his testimony is true. 
Now there are also many other things that Yeshua did. Where every one of them has to be written. Where every one of them to be written. I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that were written. Romans 10, 14, 11, 14 through 11, 12. How then will they call upon him who, who they have not believed? And how are they to believe him of whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone, appre someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is, is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has delivered what has heard from us. What he has heard from us. So faith comes from hearing. And hearing through the words of Hamashiach. But I ask. Have they not heard? Indeed they have. For their voice has gone out to all the earth. And their words to the ends of the earth. But I ask. Did, not, did, I, did Israel not understand? For Moses says. I will make you jealous to those who are not a nation. And with a foolish nation I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But of Israel, he says, All long, all day long, I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. Ask then, has Elohim rejected his people? By no means. For I myself am a Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. Elohim has not rejected his people whom he for new. Do you know not do you not know what the scriptures say of Elijah? How he appeals to Elohim against Israel. Lord, they have killed your prophets, they have demolished your altars, and I am a, a, I am alone left. And they seek my life, but what is Elohim's reply to him? I have kept for myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. So too, at the present time, there is a remnant, chosen by grace. But if, it is by, but if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace would no longer be grace. What then? Israel failed to obtain what it was seeking. The elect obtained it. But the rest were hardened, as it is written. Elohim gave them a spirit of stupor, eyes that would not see, and ears that would not hear, down to this very day. And David says, Let their table become a snare and a trap, a stumbling block and a retribution for them. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see, and bend their backs forever. So I asked, did they, did they stumble in order that I might fall? By no means. Rather, through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles, so as to make Israel jealous. Now if their trespass means riches for the world, and if their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? Romans twelve fourteen through twenty one. Bless, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one for evil. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all, if possible. So far as it depends on you, live peacefully with it. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of Elohim, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Here's our after-study prayer. 
Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, our Lord, giver of the Torah. Mishim Yeshua. Amen.